You know, when I thought about it for a moment, I remembered that I forgot something. Also, welcome back to more of the Butch Arms Master Art Run. Last episode, oh my god, I have like no magic. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we all have a sword and we have like no magic. Wow, this is a fun combination of things. Anyway, last episode, all we basically did was the Gibdo well. So now we have the mirror shield. We don't have our sword because we turned it in for the... To get the razor sword. And today we're going to be doing Snowhead Temple. But before we do that, there's actually something we need to go do first that I totally forgot about. And it's going to make our lives a little easier in that temple. Because we're not supposed to have the hook shot, but we're going to use it anyway to take full advantage of the fact that we have it anyway. So, you know, fun. Also, we have a fairy, so I'm not going to die. Theoretically. Surprisingly, we have plenty of time to... Wow. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of time. Because on my other file, apparently, I have less time. Oh my god, open the door. So all I need to do is talk to you. And by, I mean, poor our ocarina. Oh, baby! That's a nice thing you got there! Let me hear a song you wrote on that. So you can use anything as long as it has eight notes. So we can do like... Like that. Yo! Oh yeah! That's a nice tune, baby! By the way! <laughs> like shaking his head! Like scratching his head! <laughs> okay, no. He's just gonna tell us about the inverted song of time and the song of double time. But we don't need to know about those. But now that we have the Scarecrow song, it's off to Snowhead Temple. Yes, we're actually gonna do it this time for real. Like, seriously. We're not just going in to grab one item. In fact, since we have the fire arrows, we can do this in the most roundabout way possible. And you know how we, you know how it is with me in roundabout ways to do this. All right, off we go. I need magic. That's bombs. That's not magic. Ah! I'm about to run out of magic. Fuck, I'm out of magic. Well, shit. That's bad. We actually do kind of need magic. So let's go see this. Let's go. Let's see. Is there magic in here? Okay. We're good. Alright. Off we go. Let's try not to die. Okay, good. We got more magic. Let's try not to fail this time. Okay, you know what? No, I'm playing it safe. I know that something's gonna happen. I'm gonna, like, fall. Oh, man. We're good. We're in. We're in. There we go. Problem solved. Welcome back to Snow and Temple, ladies and gentlemen. This dungeon is not hard. Oh, oh hi! Ow! Oh, push. Push. Alright, go, go, go. Shut up, old folks. Alright, first room. This one's easy. Shoot all these guys with fire arrows and they're dead instantly. Well, and then there's that, too. Just like that. And then we get chest. So there's a straight ferry over there. But if we use the lens of truth, we'll find that we can't actually get it from that side. We have to get it from this side. And we need the great fairy's mask. And I'll grab the hook shot too. Come to me, fairy! Alright, first one. There should be magic. Oh, yeah, definitely. We should be done with this place before the second day starts up. Well, I mean, if we will climb the ladder faster. <laughs> okay. There are only two fairies in this room, luckily. The other one's right there. So just to save on arrows, let's just use the hook shot. I said let's use the hook shot. And 
it will just come over here while the fairy comes to us. Because in here we get a key. Alright, next up is this way. To this room. Yeah, I know we're supposed to go into the, the other place, but, you know. Look at that fairy. And, 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 not do that! Like, definitely don't do that! That's not how you kill them! Alright. As you can see, we grabbed the fairy there. That chest doesn't have anything but five rupees in it now. We will abuse the power of arrow cycling. And activate the switch. Alright, nice. So over here, we have a bunch of invisible blocks that we need to learn the truth for. There's a chest up there, but we can't just hookshot up to it, so we have to do it like this. Alright, there we go. And in here, we will get another stray fairy. Alright. I'm thinking here. Okay, yeah. We actually don't want to do this one. I, I forgot for a second. Don't have the sword. So what we can do... And this is part of the reason why I wanted the Scarecrow song. Over here. If we play the Scarecrow song... Wait, what? Not close enough? We can summon the Scarecrow and just hookshot to him. Now, normally what you're supposed to do is go up to the top of this room and use the Deku flower, but fuck all that noise. We have a... We have a... Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We wanna go this way. And get that one too. May as well do them all. Alright. I'm trying to remember where all these fairies are. I know generally where they are. Okay, here we are. We're on their track. So in here, all we do is pull this and push it over to here. And we can literally abuse this room too. Normally this would take longer because block pushing is slow, but, you know. That will spawn a chest there. And... We can grab this. I'm pretty sure this is a key. Yes. We actually need that. So now, let's hook shot. Hot! Hot! And fairy. Alright. Good. This should take us to the white wolf ultram. Yep. Oh! That was a stroke of fucking luck. Yo, I just realized, how am I supposed to kill you? I have a Deku stick. Hold on, real quick. Up. There's a fairy in that box over there. You know what? I'm curious about something. Th that didn't work. What the? That actually worked! <laughs> Come on. Wow, that's actually working! 
We were just fighting all the pro strats, boys. I killed the Lofos without even fighting it! There we go! There's still one more Wolfos. There he is. Trying to be sneaky. As you can see, that door over there is locked. That's what we need the key for. Alright, and now prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, for professional Wolfos killing strats. That actually hit me! I never knew you could do that before! <laughs> the more you know, ladies and gentlemen. And now let's spot a chest. What is the room that connects to this one, though? I didn't pull up the wall, wow. And we have the hook shot, so we don't need to push the block like we would normally need to. Wait, what, what room connects to this one? I really don't remember. Uh, oh my god! Alright. Oh. Oh crap. That, wh what are you doing over there, pal? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> He's having a spasm over there. Alright, there are fairies in here. And because we have fire arrows, we don't need to worry about the giant icicles. We just fire arrow them. But we do still have to worry about those. Okay, it's key. Yes. That should be the last. I forgot! I don't have the sword! Magic. I said magic, not money! That's arrows! Oh, great. Well... I need the magic power. Coming up. So we're gonna have to do this the normal way, unfortunately. Oh, that's why there's a key in here then. Ow! But right here is the invisible wall. Just walk right through it and shazam. Already halfway done with the fairies. Well, I mean, we were halfway done like a little bit ago, but now we're even more halfway done. Magic! Magic! Really? Do the puzzle in here. Although I'm, I'm hoping we can. So in this room, up there, is a fairy. And this should just take us back to this room, in which I only have one shot to do this. I. All right, yeah. Well, now I don't have one shot to do it! <laughs> well, shit! I need magic. I don't want to go back to that room because we will have to fight the wizard robe again. Because he does... I'm pretty sure he does return. Okay, there we go. Now, most of this dungeon is basically just played like normal for now. There's... Actually, hold on. Do I wanna... Wait, actually, no. Hold on. There is something we wanna do. We wanna come down here. And, oh my god, they hurt! And hit that switch. Wow, had I been more reckless, I would've probably just died. Oh. Oh. Oh! Open it! 
Grab me! Ah! Stop! Go away! Okay, we're out of here. Holy crap, that was dangerous. Good thing the straight parrots are your health a little bit. Alright. What we want to do, and instead of dying, come here. We need to get the main gimmick of this dungeon out of the way. And deal with these guys. And now give us our stray fairy. But in order to get through this room... Eh. Eh, I want those. One of those arrows fell down the freaking hole! I don't want to go all the way down there for that. What we need to is light these torches. One, and that one, and that one. Don't do what I did and miss completely. Alright, nice. And there we go. Now we just need to. Okay, forget what I said earlier. We wouldn't finish this dungeon before the second day started. But whatever, I guess. All we need to do is hit this. You might think raising the full, raising the giant cider pillar is a bad idea, but trust me. Trust me. There's a method to my madness. There's always a plan for the dumb things I do. Okay, let me rephrase that sentence. There are sometimes plans for the dumb thing. Wait, what? There's still. I gotta grab the fairy! <laughs> I was about to leave! Leave. I do not want to have to come back to double dip this place just because I missed one fairy. There wow, we already have almost all of them. Already. Nice. And it's just about dawn the second day. Uh, I went the wrong way. We need to go to the other side. So let's just do this. Ah! Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No! Don't do that! Wow. Heart, thank you. Don't do what I did. Basically. Yeah, what we want to do is just come through here. This will take us right back to the second floor. Oh, don't do that either. I almost fell. And now, for real. There you go. That's how you do it right. Alright. Now, through the power of Abusing arrow cycling. Okay, make our way back up. And we have the. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, it's the other chest. Never mind. I was saying, what do you mean I'm missing a chest? Uh, take that. So now we just go on roll across here. I don't know how I'm going to kill the dino bolts. Alright, here we are. Go through here like this. And we'll use our last key. We don't have to deal with these guys. I wish we could Ow! Fuck you! And in here, there is an invisible wall. With a stray fairy. I don't know how I timed that as perfectly as I did. <laughs> Alright, we're good. And we'll have the money to go buy a powder keg when we're out of here. Because I actually do need one. And now the last two fairies are near. We just got to kill a couple dino foals. I wonder. Wow, it only takes two. Nice. Ow! 
Don't dodge! Ow. Don't dodge me! Fuck you! There we go, we got them all! Take them back to their first whole fairies of the same color, which we'll do when we're done here. But yeah, by doing it like this, we just have a straight shot to the mini boss, who is our favorite dude ever. Whiz Rogue, again. Though I do need magic. That is not magic, that is rupees. So we have to find our good friend Whiz Rogue! Again! Yeah! No, seriously, why the fuck do we have to fight Whiz Rogue again? Wait for the game to see Please hold. I don't have the sword, so... Oh, crap. Well, I'm gonna have to do it like this. So I found out by watching someone do play rando, you can actually hit Wizro before he does this, this freaking make copies move. Right there. Go! Goodbye! Alright, we're done. Easy. Wizro is the easiest boss mini boss in this entire game. And with that, we can claim our reward. The boss key! So now we can go get obliterated by the boss. Alright, well, hopefully we can get the magic though. There we go. Um, you know what? I want to try something. I want to try something here. Can I... Hook that down there. And hopefully not take damage. <laughs> what? How? Oh my god, screen. Alright, let's see. Now, I'm pretty sure... We... Wait, what? Uh, okay, wait. I see it now. Okay. <laughs> my memory is apparently still very hazy. On how we do this. We punch this piece first. Tattle shot. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I think. we If we screw this up, we have to go back and redo the whole damn thing. Okay. Wait. No, we're fine. Let's do this. Ah, uh, yeah, guess what? I made a mistake again. We were actually were supposed to punch the second one. Dude, I, I really don't want to have to do this stupid dungeon again. Trust me. We actually have to finish this dungeon pretty fast now. Because if we don't do Guan Race before the end of the second day, we can't get the Gilded Sword, and this whole thing would just be a waste of time. Man, we're basically at the end! After we get through this section, all that's left is the straight shot to the boss, and then the five minute boss fight that we're probably gonna have. Oh, fuck, no. Uh, so, normally, in order to get that one fairy that I used the Scarecrow song for, you're supposed to use this Deku flower to float down to where the where the fairy is. But, you know, we have the hook shot, so fuck that. But now... But here we go, it's time for the boss. And the bosses are the things I've been scared of this whole time, because... Yeah, these guys, they can kill you! Really easily! So... Oh boy! There are actually multiple methods of beating Goat, but I don't know those other methods except Goron rolling, so yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna... Anyway, he's frozen, so all we do is fire arrows him. And then the fun begins. The mass mechanical monster, Goat! And he's gonna rampage through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rampage through too. 
I don't have a sword still, so, you know, we're gonna have to play this the old fashioned way and ram him until he eventually heals over. So what I normally do is I just... Oh, fuck you, goats! We have a fairy, so I'm not scared of dying. Okay, well, I'm kind of scared of dying because I only have one fairy. I only have three hearts. This guy takes a lot of abuse. Trip him! Okay. Ow! Punch him, punch him, punch him. Eh. Okay, we got one punch. If my health gets too low, I'm going to resort to trying the arrow strats. Okay. Really? Come on. I know I'm not... Come on. Good. Come on! No! Yes! Punch! Punch! Go! Okay, we got some punches off. If he's dropping bombs, that means he's almost dead. I mean, look at him. He is... Sparking up a storm. Come on. Oh, God. Okay. Got him! One! Two! Ah, I almost got the third one off! Come on! He's almost dead! I knew it! I saw him drop a bomb! Come on! I had one hit! Fuck you, goat! <laughs> I'm so sorry for shouting like that, but still, that was stupid. I had one hit left! I got the third hit off! He would have been dead! Wow. Fuck you, goat. Go die in a fire. Oh, wait. Wait, he's already died. It doesn't matter. But anyway, yeah. When you beat a boss, luckily, time is frozen. So we can roll around do whatever we want. And we are not going to be grabbing that heart container because this is a three heart run. So let's grab... Goat's Remains! We actually cleared a dungeon! Ten episodes in, ladies and gentlemen! You have just read the innocent spirit this dark mask is kept in prison within the body of the evil goat. Wait, what? This is the Woodfall Temple place. This is supposed to be the Snowhead one. Why are we at Woodfall? What's that? Saying something. Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Don't just stand there, get your instrument. to order. Call us. That's what's saying.
that so that temple is cleared and now we can go get our sword I kept you waiting but it's done see and we get the razor sword which is utterly worthless this new sharper boy is a cut above the rest usually up to 100 times that dog gets superior edge now keep in mind that after you use this 100 times the blade will lose its edge and will return to its original sharpness there's a secret if you bring me gold, that's where a sword loses its edge. I'll be able to make the, the strongest sword around. You got that? Gold dust! <laughs> okay, goodbye. But yeah, before we go do that, there are two things that we need to do first. We need to buy a powder keg so we can do Goron Race. Because Goron Race is necessary. And yes, we're going to do Goron Race literally like this episode. Because it's going to be a rage change. And I know that people like to enjoy other people's suffering. I mean, I enjoy other people's suffering too. So it's like, you know, I know, I know what it's like. And then we're going to go turn in the stray fairies and get our double magic. Which will be helpful towards winning Goron Race. You know, the greatest nightmare of all time. We need to finish Goron Race before the end of the second day. So that's what I want to devote the rest of the second day to. Because we need to get that, that Gilded Sword. So we'll buy a Powder Keg for 50 Rupees. And then... Back to Snowhead. To turn in our fairies and get our reward. Because we worked hard to earn all those fairies. Oh, I had to use fire arrows to beat the Dino Fulse, even though I probably could have used Zora Mask or something. But that gave me its own risk, because if you get burp set on fire as a Zora, you void out. And I don't want that to happen. Okay. Oh my god! Holy fuck! Damn it. <laughs> but at least you'll die. At least you don't die. I don't know why they're crazy here now. And all the wolfos are now regular wolfos. Alright! We got your fairies! Thank you for the reward in advance. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not ready for the great fairy voice, get ready to mute right now! <coughs> Oh, wise young one! I am the great fairy of wisdom! Thank you for turning my broken and shattered body to normal! As uh, thanks, I shall enhance your magic power! <laughs> I'm so sorry, but like I said, back in like episode 2, I am doing that voice for all the fairies, and I don't care how cringy it sounds. It's already happening. Oh my god, come on, like size. Your magic power has been enhanced! Now I'll have twice as much! Come and see me when you overcome my weariness! <laughs> um, yeah, no thanks. Alright, we're out of here. We need to hurry. It's time for my least favorite side activity in the entire game. Go on, race. Dude, the moon looks super close, dude, right now. I don't like it. I don't like how the magic jar doesn't look very different on the tracker. It literally just has, like, handles on it now. I guess the design is a little different. Alright! So now we are on the great race to do go on race. We need to hurry and do it fast. With double magic, it will hopefully help us beat go on race. And let me tell you, go on race is a rage change, so I will probably be shouting. Ah! 
Ah, Darby! Now that it's nice and warm out, I'm much, much better. Even if my daddy isn't right beside me, I won't be selfish and cry. So, now that spring has come, the Goron races should be starting soon. But... But this rock is in the way, so I can get in to see the race! It's spring just starting too! It was so exciting! There's nothing I can do! Gosh. Well, let's make your wish come true and hopefully not die by doing this. Ow! Alright, he's gonna go in. And then we're gonna go in, and then we're gonna rate hate this thing. Scribe. Goron Race isn't RNG, but it is hell. I don't like it. Ah, darn me! I've been waiting for you! See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're gonna enter, aren't you? You're gonna enter, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> you have to! I want to show everyone how darn me races. If your magic power runs low, charge up the green jars in the course. Yeah, because we are the only Goron in existence who can protrude spikes thanks to magic power. But these fuckers over here are going to try and take our magic jars from us. And... But yeah, these fuckboys are going to try and take our magic jars from us. It's nice to come into... Ah! Wait away! Look at that! We actually do need to be using magic power during this race to have any chance of winning. Like, if you... The worst part is these fuckers are gonna push you around. And if they hit you too many times, you'll lose your spikes. The only way to win is to get first place. And unlike other minigames, and by that I mean all but one, the timer is still going. Which adds the extra layer pressure that we have to finish this stupid race before the end of the second day. Oh my god. Dude, this fucker is in front of me! No! Where the hell did you all come from? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! 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 Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yes! First try! Let's go! Fuck you, Goron Race! <laughs> that was great! I knew you were the fastest Goron Army! I was sure you'd get first place. You know, it was a stroke of goddamn luck. I thought I wasn't gonna win first try, because I normally don't. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. And we get a bottle of gold dust. So that is five bottles. The last one we won't be getting for a long time. This is the finest quality available. Oh my god, I was like touching my pop filter with my mouth. I will be just like you. Quick. Okay, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Shut up. I'm out of here. <laughs> Fuck this place. Goron race can go die to fire! Which it will when this when the moon crashes and kills everybody, but you know, we're not gonna let that happen. Okay! We did it! We did go on race! And I hated it. It was terrible. It always is. So now we have the gold dust. And double magic, which looks really weird next to my three hearts. We can take care of business. It's almost night time. <laughs> oh, a customer! Come on, fetch a customer some coffee, quick like! Now then, let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Hey, now that's a mean joke! Your sword's already been used before it's your razor sword! Unless, do you want me to make your sword stronger? To do that, I'll need gold dust. Do you have any? Oh, hell yeah, I do, buddy. Why, if it isn't gold dust, it's even top quality! Why, even if I were to reforge your sword, there'll still be some left! Alright, trust me, I'll do this for free! But don't tell anyone. Thanks for chopping in! Now then, I'm strapped to work! Come back tomorrow morning! Alright! So it'll take care of our sword for us, in which, you know, now we have time to kill, so let's go... Let's go... There is one thing I want to see. There is dialogue that you get at Goron Village after you finish Snowhead Temple. 
So I just want to show that off. Because we do have to... All we have to do now is kill time until the sword's ready. Also, yeah, Gorons drown in water, so watch out for the water. You can't just quickly go through here, which is why I like to do things like powder keg. Wow, we still have to clear the dungeon out, so that way we can just walk across the ice. But yeah, we want to come over here, and then we'll then we'll just use. Oh, it's just straight up open. Okay, I never actually knew that. I also found out that you can use fire arrows on this in order to activate it, like this, not like that. Like that. But yeah, we can come over here. And all these Gorons are gathered around. Oh, dear Marty! I've been waiting patiently for you! I have been waiting for the arrival of Sir Hufferoos! I heard that you, the one who I thought to be dead, had sealed up the blizzard that's blowing in from Snowhead! Thanks to you, spring has come to Gorn Village! Everyone is pleased! Oh. The greatest Goron hero of all, that's Normani! Oh. The immortal Goron who is not dead, even if he has died, that's Normani! Oh. The star whom we wish upon, that's Normani! Oh. Darmani, greatest of Gorons! Oh. Greatest of Gorons! Oh. Darmani is the greatest in the world! Oh. Greatest in the world! Oh. My son got better immediately! He went to see the guard races at Salmon Spring! This time I, protector of this tribe for so many years, chose to yield the sea of tribal patriarch to a younger one! The guard who makes calm decisions yet post courageous determination and can take care of all shall be the patriarch! The chosen one, Dormani, is you! There can be no other! What do you think that you ever would happily accept you as the patriarch? What? You need not answer so quickly. Go watch the guard races. Thank you over slowly. I am willing to fall for response. You know, it's kind of sad when you think about it. Jarmani's dead, right? So, what's going to happen after Link leaves? Like, th that's a serious question. What's going to happen after Link's gone? Jarmani's a literal dead man right now. Also, why is the field music playing at night? I don't have that setting on. That's a little weird. But anyway. Since all we're here for now is our Gilded Sword. Let's... I can't remember you stun song, but, you know, we'll do it like this this time to appease the people who might think, Oh, he's abusing mechanics that aren't actually the game. What a cheater. Or something like that. So we'll do it like this to appease those people. So we'll go to Dawn of the Final Day. In which everything is doom and gloom and doom because the world's ending. Alright, I'm here for my sword. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? And we get the Gilded Sword, which is actually worthwhile because you can keep it when you reset time. Newly forged, your sword's better than ever and will never break. There it is. We can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it. Oh, I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit of wrath, so I got rid of it for you. Alright, nice. So now that we have the Gilded Sword and the Mirror Shield, we are pretty stocked up. We have one boss remain, we have the Oak Order, we have max bombs and arrows, we have almost every bottle. We still don't have Vice Arrows though. <laughs> we still don't have Vice Arrows though. So I think next time, we probably won't have time to do Ancient Castle. So I think what we're gonna do instead is here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go grab the hundred rupees from andrew's life savings <laughs> and then we're gonna go back in time and then next time we're gonna do into castle in a new cycle 
Because all we need for Ancient Castle is the powder keg. We don't really need anything else for to do Ancient Castle, kind of. So we'll go steal Andrew's life savings first, and then we'll do Kana Castle next time. So, for those who don't want me to abuse Sunsog, I have bad news for you. I don't remember how to do Sunsong, apparently. I'm doing it anyway, so sorry. Sucks to suck. Alright. Alright, Andrew. I'm sorry, but I'm taking your life savings again. <laughs> I'll make it up to you eventually. out of here. I'm gonna go store this in the bank, and then off we go. I need to be careful, though, because we can reach the... I don't know if I set the bank max to a lower amount, and the reward for the highest bank amount is a piece of heart, and I don't want to get a piece of heart. So, hopefully that's not a thing. Howdy! Take my money. How much money do we even have in here? Oh! Well then. Alright, 148 rupees. Take my money. Oh, boy! Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop storing money. So, next time, on The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3 Heart Run, we will be going to the ancient castle of Akana, and we all know what that entails. Dancing Redeads! <laughs> I'll see you then, after I play the song time. So yeah, next time, prepare yourselves for Dancing Redeads! And we're gonna murder them instantly with the power of light. I'll see you next time.